All of them, they have those, they have those bars, you see? Yeah. Those bars. Hot, hot, neutral, and ground. Hot, hot, neutral, and ground. Okay, that's the number one. And check between hot and hot. Why I need check in between hot and hot? How much should be, oh, how should much be should be in between hot and hot? Points. Around 240. Yeah. Oh, combined. What happens if I have between hot and hot in this push bar with heavy cables 210 or 200? Yeah, you got leakage. That's too low. That's too low. Be careful because during the summer in Florida, the voltage on the pedestal decreased dramatically. Normally, what is the voltage in, 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 a, in a single phase? 120. 120. But uh, today, you visit at uh, 1 p.m. any marina, and you found the voltage around 90 volts in that, each phase. That happened just now on the patterns that I'm working on. I checked, I was checking with the multimeter, the voltage, it was only at 100. It should be Correct. Like 110. I'm like, Correct. A lot of voltage, so voltage drop because of the temperature. Yeah the temperature all right okay check the voltage check the ground with the procedure that i explained to you and uh, also uh check remove the short power cable and check if it's burned yeah if, if one terminal is brown is an indication of what Sharky. that uh, that that cable the wire is loose or is corroded before you disconnect the short power cable, touch, touch the cable and touch the breaker with your finger. This is good, good. That's to add the breaker number three. That breaker is for this outlet and this outlet is of the neighbor boat. Let me touch the one. Oh, the short power cable is hot. Something is wrong in that, in that boat, no, in my boat. You understand? You need to analyze the, 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 the pedestal. Check the ground, the ground boost bar and verify if the ground boost bar is clean. If the ground boost bar is completely green, completely corroded, is an indication of what? The ground boost bar in the pedestal. If the ground boost bar is green, corroded. The marina. The ground of the marina is not, not good. It's not good. Is there any way to check that without opening the panel? No, no, I prefer Only open the panel. Mm -hmm. You need you need permission. Of Just the feet. Yeah. yeah. You want to go to the feet. So on the grounds or corrosion, is that what you meant by that? There's a transformer for that whole dog. Correct. You, you need follow from the transformer at the beginning oh, and verify the ground at the beginning. Because remember, per each dock, you have one ground at the beginning close to the transformer. Oh, the other dock, other ground. The, all of the grounds connected together with the main ground in the transformer in front of the street. You follow me? Mm -hmm. All of the grounds together, but each each um, dock with your independent ground. If this ground is fully corroded, let me check the next pedestal. I open it. Oh, it's clean. Clean, clean. Only my pedestal that probably is loose, the terminal, or is broken. When you touch the cable, oh, the terminal is separated. That's the problem only in my pedestal because the other ones are clean. You understand? You need to be analytic. Okay, you analyze the short power cable, you analyze the pedestal, and now you enter in the boat. When you enter in the boat, what is the number one? What is the number one? I examine the corrosion. Yeah. Uh, what, is the, what is the element that you need checked? Immediately yes. you enter in the boat. I would see the zinc. Okay, before you enter in the boat, you can check the zinc. Yeah. Okay, the zinc are in normal condition. A little eroded, that's normal. The shore power connection on the boat? You check the that. The correct. Mm -hmm. yeah. We finish with that and now I enter in the boat. Yeah, so you should the panel, right? Okay, go to the panel. AC panel and DC panel. Okay? Before I start with any, any analysis, I say to the, co the captain or uh, the engineer, the manager of the boat, my friends, uh, I want that you turn off all the breakers, AC and DC. Everything off, 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 off. Okay, okay. Oh, Are you sure good. that everything is off? Uh, oh yeah, about off, okay. Uh, you refresh to him, no? 
uh, want to make, oh, sorry, want to make a, because those elements are isolated and normally you have leaks oh, yeah. over there. Those elements are isolated with your own switch. But uh, you know more, you <coughs> ask, ask him, hey my friend, hey, what I make? Oh, yeah, yeah, what I make? Ah, this kind of thing, what I make? Uh, you have a, um, an auxiliary uh, uh, additional battery chargers? Oh, yes, I have other small ones for uh, electronics. Okay, go, go ahead, go ahead, disconnect, disconnect, off, 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 off. Everything is off? Yes, now you go to the AC panel and DC panel and you check the on meters. Everything is off in DC. I, uh, I have five amps in the ammeter. This is a possi possible leak of current. That much, huh? It's a lot. Wow. It's a lot. It's a lot. But it's common. Pay attention. In that moment, you remember <clears throat> that at, at the beginning of uh, the electrical class, I said that uh, the clamp, the clamp, this one, It's good, it's accurate to check AMPs AC. Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. For AMPs DC, I say that uh, I don't like the clamps because the signal is straight and uh, it's, it's not positive negative. It's difficult to read how many AMPs parts pass per minute in a, in a DC cable. But uh, today the technology advanced and advanced and advanced and there are a lot of DC clamps with excellent performance. Yeah. DC clamp. DC but it only works on the positive, right? You only run the positive wire through there? Correct, or, or the ground. Or the ground. Or the ground. Either Pay or attention. One. This is a good clamp for AC and DC. Uh -huh. You see? For AC and DC. Yeah? This is a, an, an excellent clamp for AC and DC. Pay attention. In this moment, I, I saw three amps, five amps, in the DC, and he supposed that everything is off. <coughs> and let me check the, the the AC panel. Oh, in the ammeter, I have one amp. Let me I go to the ground cable in this boat. You remember that uh, when I connect the short power, immediately in the other side, in, inside of the boat, I have the green cable. After that is interrupted and I have the galvanic isolator. Okay, I am going to check in that cable in the ground before enter in the galvanic isolator with this if I have a small current. With this, in the ground. Oh, 3.2 amps. Oof. It's a lot. You remember what is the minimum? In, in one million? Zero point, zero point, zero zero one. One milliamp, that's the maximum. And I have three amps <laughs> with this. Yeah, <clears throat> that ground is not good. O okay, you like it? For that reason, yes. I apologize for my students in other countries. <laughs> At the beginning, I said that I don't like the, the DC clamps, but uh, today there are new new technologies and uh, there are really excellent new, really, really no DC it's new it's new dc clamps okay all right uh, i just want to go back to the diagnostic uh, statement uh, aren't boat yards also notorious for any current leaks no normally in the marinas they don't pay attention they uh, they assume that uh, everything is okay and boat yards well, the, the last the last class of the corrosion, we went to that the one there by uh, and, uh, and, uh, it had 0.5 volts in the water. Oh, really? Uh, ah, yeah, yeah, I remember. I remember? Oh, like with the uh, uh, silver chloride? Yeah, it's found 0.5 that? volts in the water. Wow. And we went all the way. We, we did we different areas, and it was 0.5, no matter where you went. For no that way. reason, my friends, when you talk with the managers, uh, it's important that you be 100% <coughs> sure about your complaint. You need to be a hundred percent sure before you call the manager because the manager came like this, no? What happened? <laughs> Everything is clean. No, no, baby. It's, it's not perfect. I, I am going to demonstrate that. No. Can I demonstrate? Okay. And you demonstrate to him, all right? Because talk with those guys is difficult. Yeah. Because they think that everything is perfect, all right? You need to demonstrate with, with, with numbers. Yeah. No, with blah blah blah. Ready? Okay.
This is the number one, check leaks with this and checking the and meters. All right, after that, check the condition of the bonding system. Check the condition of the bonding system. Analyze the bonding, the metal, the metal, the bonding metal, the bonding conductor, you remember? Check if it's clean, if it's properly connected, and check at the end how is the connection between this bonding conductor and the sink externally, the, the sacrificial anode external. How is the, the connection? The, 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 you remember those copper uh, terminals? Yeah, yeah. How is the connection in those copper terminals if the watchers are in copper? It is properly, properly connected. And also, check at the beginning of the bonding conductor if the bonding conductor is properly connected with the negative DC in the DC panel, negative boost bar, and also with the ground boost bar in the AC panel. Remember that the ground boost bar and the negative in the DC, both of them should be connected to the bonding conductor. If those, if those uh, uh, boost bars are not connected with the bonding conductor, your bonding system is decorative, it's doing nothing. Doesn't matter if all the elements are connected to the bonding conductors, the bonding element, the bonding material is not connected with the negative boost bar and the ground boost bar the circle is not closed. The loop is not closed. Everybody follow me? Normally, the problem that I found that 90% of the boats is everything is perfect, but it's not connected with the negative and it's not connected with the ground. Finito. So